The nightmare in Gaza continues. Over 33 Palestinians have been killed. Over 14,500 children. Families have gathered e for Eid. They've gathered in the rubble, in hunger, mourning their loved ones who've been killed. Just last week, we were horrified by Israel's killing of seven workers with World Central Kitchen, including one Canadian. More than 200 aid workers have been killed by Israel. It is clear the Netanyahu far-right government will continue the killing in large part because of the complicity and the empty words of countries like ours. We are witnessing a dystopian nightmare that is all too real. AI drones, cold-blooded calculations of how many innocent civilians it's okay to kill at one time. And now we hear former Prime Minister Harper heads up one of these AI firms used by Israel. We're also hearing about Canadian tax-deductible charities that are fueling the war on Gaza. Canada must end its complicity on all fronts. It starts with recognizing Palestine as a state, including full membership at the UN, bringing in a real two-way arms embargo. It means taking a stand against genocide and standing up for peace and justice.